Lacrosse is North America's oldest sport. It was back in the 1400s that native people got the ball rolling, playing with a distinctive netted stick. French missionaries decided the stick resembled the staff-like crozier or cross carried by bishops, and so the game became lacrosse. Lacrosse has never been more popular than it is today. To make a lacrosse stick, they split a hickory log down the middle. This tree was cut in the fall when the sap is out, so it's easier to work with. They continue subdividing the log into eight pieces. Each piece then goes through a bandsaw which trims it to a width of five centimeters. Hickory is the wood of choice because it's tough and can withstand the high impact game of lacrosse. But to work with it, they need to soften it up, so they steam the sticks for 45 minutes. Then a craftsman places the hickory stick in a jig. In this steamy state, the wood is completely flexible. He easily curls one end around a form by hand. wire around it so it will hold its crook-like shape while the wood dries for one month. At the end of that month, he puts the other end of the stick in a steamy jig and bends it back just below the crook. This is called the back bend. He sets it on a rack to dry and harden. This is the basic form. As you can see, it resembles the bishop's crozier, the one that inspired the name of the game. After two weeks of drying, the stick is ready to be carved. Using a draw knife, he shaves the bark from the stick. Then he sculpts it thinner, following the bends of the stick. The carver is an artisan who has the experience and skill to do this job well. Important because if he makes the right cuts, the stick will cut it with the player. Next, they drill holes in the curve of the stick, 21 in total. Then they give it a heavy sanding. The surface has to be absolutely smooth, so the player won't get any splinters. Then, using a rag, they rub linseed oil into the stick to keep the wood from getting too dry. The brand name goes on. And now it's time for the weaver to build the sidewall of the net. In the old days, they used rawhide for this, but today, they weave with nylon string. He interlaces it with leather runners that have been threaded through the holes at the back bend. He brushes polyurethane on the completed side web to stiffen it. Next, he attaches the other end of the leather runners to the top of the crook. The player will be able to change the depth of the netted pocket to his or her preference. He interlaces the leather runner weave with the nylon sidewall. and then pulls the woven pocket over a post to give it some shape. He loops the ends of the leather runners in a half hitch and snips off the excess. Every detail of this lacrosse stick has been handcrafted. It's a process that's taken three months. And now, let the game begin.